Recently, astronomers have come across a mysterious structure near our galaxy, which is hidden in plain sight. The reason why it remained hidden by telescopes and other space observatories until now is its location. Some professional astronomers were observing space with backyard telescopes when they saw it, and it was proved that the skies still have various celestial real estate to sift through. It has also been seen that the Andromeda galaxy is moving towards us at 110 km per second and is scheduled to collide with our Milky Way. The collision of two giant galaxies is expected in the next 5 billion years. The gigantic halos are already in the interaction phase, so astronomers also thought it might be the collision in the early phases. When the phenomenon was observed closely, it turned out quite different. A gas giant cloud was observed for the first time. What is your opinion regarding it? Why has it remained hidden even with the giant telescopes? And why is its origin still unknown to astronomers? Stay with us till the end to know the answers to all these questions. Some facts about Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies. The Andromeda galaxy is the nearest to our Milky Way, and we can see it clearly in the dark skies. The proximity it possesses makes it the most astrophotography galaxy for researchers. A group of amateur astronomers found something unexpected when they took galaxy images. Before the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories had pictured Andromeda multiple times, no such strange behaviour was noticed. Scientists started thinking that they had discovered the whole universe, and now small nebulae present under galaxies are left behind, but they were wrong here. To their surprise, they found this unique thing that was as big as the galaxy itself, and the structure was visible only from the special filter supposed to block the blue-green glow caused by the ionised oxygen. It is the light produced when two outer electrons of oxygen are lost. All these findings were then reported to professional astronomers who also said the submission was never reported in scientific journals. Multi-wavelength images like ROSAT in X-ray, GALAX in UV images, Planck Iris in infrared and SDSS in the optical field haven't reported such phenomenon. Astronomers also considered and rejected the emission as an artefact caused by the scattered light. Image processing and detector glow and all these findings show that the discovery was novel and was never noticed before. Countries like France, California and New Mexico also used their telescopes to consolidate this discovery. A serendipitous find An astrologer from France analysed all the photographs he collected from the Oxygen 3 filter and collaborated with Marcel Dresschela and Xavier for future detailed analysis of obtained images. The whole process is named as Strotner Dreschler Sainty Object 1. Three analyzed the data and collaborated with expert astronomers and astro imagers to confirm their findings. Recently, they have published their findings in the research notes of AAS alongside their heavily processed images on astro imaging sites for the people. These Andromeda and cloud observations were just a side project for them, and their main concern was something else. Dreschler and Strotner were preparing a list of planetary and some associate nebulae, and they requested Sainty to capture all the related objects for them. For this project, Sainty went all around with his astronomical camera, ZWO CMOS, to spot the darkest regions in the sky, and he used to focus on nice and easy endeavours to observe the galaxies. During a total of 111 hours of the exposure until the fall of 2022, he took as many photos as he could, at the end of the season, three of them were certain that they had discovered something unique in the cosmos, which was unknown before. The unique object is named after an amateur astronomer, Strotner Dressler object, and now when the existence is confirmed, a new concern is to know the reality about what it is. There are four possibilities, but each one has an associated problem. Case 1. Is it a broken part of the Andromeda galaxy? This structure is located near the galaxy, so it is possible to be a part of it. The shape of this cloud is curved, and it seemed like it has moved away from the galaxy, but there is no solid evidence of it being a solid rock. If it had ever happened, the cloud's distance would have been thousands of light years long, and it would have been the largest coherent structure of this galaxy. If this strange cloud had been present in this rough spherical collection galactic halo, it would have gas flung off by the star streams and some tremendous amount of honey and their observations have not learned well. So what is your take on that associated hydrogen? Case 2. It may be a result of some interaction. We all know that the Andromeda and the Milky Way are on their way to coming close to each other as our distance from the galaxy is just 2.3 million years apart. However, the distance is quite small when we observe it on the intergalactic scale. 
This distance is so close that there is a possibility that the external halos have started interacting. The gas diffused into the galactic holes due to this collision may have formed this structure, like when the ship moves in the water. But there is a problem. If this cloud results from a galactic collision, it may have appeared between the two galaxies, not too close to the Andromeda galaxy. Moreover, the absence of hydrogen can also not be explained here. Case 3. Is there any nebula inside the galaxy? SDSO is a part of the Andromeda galaxy that is present so close to the Andromeda galaxy. Some average-sized stars eject the outer layers as a planetary nebula, and the gas formed during the process is rich in hydrogen and oxygen. The central stars excite the gases, which makes the planetary nebula bright. But again, there is a problem that the lack of hydrogen in the gas cloud did not fit this model too. Case 4. Is it any supernova remnant? Strotner Dreschler Sainte Object 1, SDSO, being a remnant of a star that exploded in a Milky Way, did scientists consider it? If it could be true, there must be a glow in the UV region and radio waves, but they did not see anything coming from the cloud at any other wavelength like X-rays, visible region and IR region. Conclusion True region of SDSO-1 can be found only when scientists will avail the full spectrum. If this spectrum shifts towards the blue, just like the Andromeda galaxy, then this cloud is a part of the galaxy that will approach us at the speed the parent galaxy is moving. But if the movement is slow, it is part of our Milky Way. The object is not obvious, so a high range exposure is needed to locate it. The total observation time in this discovery and further research considering the divided ionized oxygen is only 160 hours. Professional observatories work quite differently than amateur telescopes. When the 3.8 meter long Canada France Hawaii telescope was sent to space, it recorded nothing. Although an advanced telescope, it can still not record something as faint yet big as a galaxy. This discovery of SDS-01 also highlights that even though it succeeded in mapping the sky via the electromagnetic spectrum, there is still much more to explore. Would you ever think that a backyard telescope would discover something not detected in the most advanced equipment? So that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to the channel for such interesting content in the future too.